In this tutorial, we'll offer an overview of the ImagePro Premier workspace. ImagePro Premier uses a tabbed interface. So as you can see here, we have three images open right now in our workspace. And right now, this green image is the active image. You can see that it's highlighted in a different color from the others. If I want to open the other, or activate, I should say, the other images, all I need to do is click on the tab to activate that next image. Now you can see when I hover over the tab, the image information or some brief properties about that image are displayed in a pop-up menu. We can do the same as we hover over the image strip on the left. And the image strip shows you a overview of all of the images that you currently have open in your workspace. You can also click on the image in the image strip to make that your active image as well. Now to load images into ImagePro Premier or open them into the workspace, all you need to do is go to the application icon on the top left, click on it, and choose Open. You can select one or multiple images to open into your workspace. And If you open multiple images, you can choose to select Open as a sequence if it made sense for these to open as a movie, if it was a time lapse or a series of of images that were taken but saved as individual files. But we'll go ahead and cancel this out. Now you can see on the right here we have an image histogram that opens and displays data for each image. You can manually go in and adjust this histogram by dragging on the bars, reset the data, or you can hit best fit. Now you can see that ImagePro Premier also uses this tabbed layout for all of the image processing and measurement tools that we have available in the program. Simply click on the tab to locate the tools that you need. If you want to make more room in your workspace, you can double click on these tabs to minimize them. We've just double clicked and now you can see that ribbon or tabbed interface has gone away. We double click again and it returns. If you wish to close an image, you can either click on each image to close it. You can choose the Close All Views, which closes all images that are open in your workspace. Or if you just want to keep one image or that active image open, you can right click on that image tab and choose Close All But This. Just that image stays open in the workspace. If you have calibration data set for an image, the calibration information displays at the bottom of the status bar. If you want to learn more about that image, simply right click on it and choose the image or document properties option, which is a little icon with an eye in it. We click on that and we can see all of the properties that are associated with that image. To save an image, you can go up to your application icon again and choose save or save as, or we also offer some quick tools on the main capture tab that allow you to either save for analysis, which would save all measurements and regions of interest, all overlays would be saved with that image, or you can choose to save for publication, which basically creates a snapshot with all of the overlays burned in. It would be saved by default as a JPEG file, whereas the analysis is saved as a TIFF. If you have a movie, or a time-lapse image, you can choose to quick save for movie to automatically save it as an AVI that could be used to send to someone else who may not have ImagePro Premier. Next we'll show you the different ways that you can use ImagePro Premier to zoom in and out of an image. One of the easiest ways is to simply use the scroll bar on your mouse. You can see here I've clicked on the center of my image and I'm using my mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Very easy. Now that I'm zoomed in, we can see on the image strip on the left here that there is a highlighted area around that image and you can see the brighter area in the middle is actually the area that I'm zoomed in on in my workspace. So I can grab that rectangle and move it around that image in the image strip and you can see I'm using that to pan around my image. We can also pan and zoom by just right clicking on that image so lots of easy ways to zoom in and out of your image. And all of the tabs and all of the dialogues in ImagePro Premier can be dragged around and rearranged to suit your needs. You could pull an image off and move it over to a second monitor, or if you want to redock it, just simply drop it back and the area will be highlighted where that image will land again. You can drag a dialog off again 
and move it back to the original location. And if you want to make sure that your workspace is adjusted to the default settings again, all you need to do is go to the View tab and click on Reset Tools. So those are just a few of the tools available for you to navigate through the Image Pro Premiere workspace. We have several other videos that are available to show you how to use the various image capture, processing, and measurement tools. If you have any questions about Image Pro Premiere, please contact your local reseller or Media Cybernetics representative. Thank you.